everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about my favorite warmer accessory. And no, it is not colored bulbs, believe it or not. We're actually gonna be talking about warmer stands. I love warmer stands. They are so helpful. They make your warmer look nice. And guess what? They're also going to help your sanity. <laughs> I know it may sound kind of crazy to say that like a warmer stand can make that much of a difference, but it really, really does make a huge difference. Since he doesn't have a ton of different warmer stands, but let me tell you, the ones that we do have are amazing and I'll show you kind of some of the differences. I feel like for how much I love our warmer stands, I really don't talk about them enough. So I decided this was definitely a video that was overdue. I've talked about them on my channel before, but it's been a hot minute. Um, but it was actually one of my friends in my VIP group that had seen a post that I had made showing um, showing some of my warmers. I think I was talking about what I was warming or, or what have you. And she had said, what is that that your warmer is on? Where did you get it? I love the way it looks. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I really don't talk enough about our warmer stands and they make such a huge difference. They really, really do. Not only do they look nice, you'll see that this one right here is the Birchwood warmer stand. So not only is it elevating your warmer up off the surface it's sitting on, we have a couple that actually do serve a purpose. <laughs> so these are actually, these two, this is the tin warmer stand. You're gonna see these up close um, a lot better here in just a second, because we're gonna go around, I'm gonna show you um, how I have a few of mine set up. Um, that way you can kind of see how it works and the difference it actually makes. But these two that I'm showing you, these two that are my absolute favorite for sure, are actually cord concealing warmer stands. Okay, here's the thing, we love our warmers, right? But if you don't have like an area for you to tuck your warmer cords, it looks like a roadmap to hell. <laughs> it really, really does. If you have your warmers in your kitchen, if you have your warmers in your bathroom, if you're not doing like a mini warmer, but like a full size warmer in your bathroom or any area that doesn't have the capability to either feed your cord through like a little hole that, you know, for, I'm thinking like desks and stuff. Um, a lot of like built-in um, built desks and things will have like a little hole that you can like feed cords and stuff through. Um, I'm thinking my, my little like cubby nook office area situation, I have a built-in like study and that's my desk, but there's no like hole or anything. So I have to have a warmer on my desk, right? So that's where these uh, cord concealing warmer stands totally come in handy because I can tell you right now, um, I mean, I guess I could probably tuck my cords like behind my like pen holder or something, but it just, it winds up looking tacky. So I love the fact that I don't even have to think about that because we have these stands that make your warmer look nicer anyway, just because they're elevated, they're on a nice little stand, but they also serve a purpose where we can wind the cord underneath that stand it's a nice thick base and then you can feed it out and plug it in and then it just looks nice and tidy and neat and clean and i am so so here for it um since you had actually come out with these cord concealing warmer stands a few years ago and i loved them you are going to see i'm going to show you a few different stands and why i love them even if i'm not using the cord concealing um, feature of it i just like the way they look um, and you're going to see some different bases they're all sensi bases that i'm going to show you but some of them you're going to see and you're going to think wait i don't see that square base or i don't see that one that looks like that it's because we have um, retired a few different styles over the years so currently right now the cord concealing stands that we do have are the birchwood i'm going to give you a better and you're going to see like i said you're going to see a better like close-up of this but it's a nice um I, this is what we have mostly in our house is the is the birchwood um warmer stand and it even has like the rings on here which is great then you have two little holes two little cord cutout holes on the back of the warmer where one side you're going to feed the warmer cord into the warmer base itself you're going to wrap it around tip for you when you are using these at least for me 
what I will do is I will make sure that toggle switch is on when you are um, winding your warmer cord through here. That way, because when it's all wound up, it's now a cord mess inside here, which you're not gonna see on the outside, but to try to like get in there to flip your toggle switch on and on every day, on or off every day, um, it's, it's just gonna be kind of a nightmare. So just leave it on. So that way, if you are going to turn your warmer on or off, you just have to unplug it or plug it in. So it makes it super, super easy and you don't even have to mess with like flipping the base over and trying to you know fish out the toggle switch and, and all of that so um make sure the toggle switch is on wrap it all up then you'll feed that um the end of the cord through the other side and then you'll plug it in like i said you're gonna see i'm gonna show you a few different um, areas in my house where i do use these but honestly even if i'm not using the functionality of the um, cord concealing base. I still use these bases. I, I like how sturdy they are. These are made out of a like resin material. So they're nice and sturdy, which is great. This tin one, it is not metal. It looks metal. It has kind of that galvanized metal look, but this is still, this is still that same like resin material. So it's good and sturdy. Um, so yeah, these are the ones that are currently available. These are $15. I'm telling you guys, it is so worth it. It is so worth it. You're going to see what I mean when I show you how much nicer it makes your warmers look. Um, so if you are someone who you're like, oh, I love having my warmers out. Like for me personally, I've got three warmers in my kitchen on my kitchen countertops. I don't want to see three separate roadmaps to hell <laughs> from my warmers. Like it's just, it's just a mess and you don't need that in your life. I'm telling you it's worth the investment. <laughs> it's worth the investment. But if you are just wanting just a stand itself, um, you can definitely get, we also have these, um, warmer stands as well, which are nice to just to elevate the warmer up off the surface that the warmer is sitting on. But this one's not necessarily as like functional as these cord concealings are. Well, I shouldn't say functional because obviously it's a stand. It's doing a job by elevating the warmer and that's great. But for me personally, I'm like, this here is solving a problem. <laughs> so I am here for that all day, every day. So I... I'm tried and true and love, love, love my core concealing stands. But these are good too if you're just looking for um, just a just a stand just to elevate the warmer up off the um, surface that your warmer is sitting on. So there's that. So $10 here. This is all US pricing. $15 for the core concealing stand. It is worth the difference. I'm telling you, it's so good. It's great, especially if you've got as many areas in your house as mine <laughs> that need to have need to have a warmer but there's no like areas that i can tuck cords and i have to have my warmers so there's that all right let's go check out some of the uh cord concealing stands that i have out i'll kind of show you how they work or how they look and um yeah let's go check it out Okay, so let's check out these warmer stands in action. So see how just nice it looks to have the warmer elevated and then to have the functionality from it too is just like bonus, right? This is actually one of the warmer stands of all places in my kitchen where there isn't a lot of like space to um, hide the cords except if you have a cutting board. <laughs> here this would be the situation i used to have to do with all of the the areas that i didn't have a space to like tuck and hide the cords but now i have these warmer stands to make it a lot easier so i don't have to necessarily mess with this if i don't want to um this particular situation i do actually just tuck those cords behind this cutting board but um it does look look nice right okay now let's see um, one of my warmers here that I do utilize it. So this is the Chasing Fireflies full-size warmer. Um, you can see I've got my little my bunnies here. <laughs> um, so you can see if I didn't have this, I would probably have to tuck the cords behind my little like my basket here with my cotton cleanups, but I don't have to do that. Um, you can see my Alexa is a different story because <laughs> I do have the mess of cords here, but this just looks so much nicer. Let's see if I can kind of pull this out without making a mess here. 
So see how the cord is just fed in through one side and then comes out the other side. So let me actually show you what this one looks like since I don't think I should make a mess since this, um, let me go ahead and do this here. So see when I wanna turn it off, I'll just unplug it just like that. Let me show you without spilling things. Okay, so this is one of the warmer bases that is no longer available. Kind of a bummer because it kind of goes perfectly with chasing fireflies. Um, but yeah, so let me just like so. And then if I flip it over, you can kind of see how that looks. So I have this all wrapped up underneath the base. I'm not having to like hide it behind things <laughs> or anything like that. It's just all wrapped up and looks nice and tidy. And I am a big fan of that. So then I'll just flip it over like that and put the base back on like so. Take it back here again. like that. We're ready to turn the warmer back on. Just plug it in. Ready to rock and roll. Look at how much nicer and tidier that looks. Oh, <laughs> Ranger says hi. Okay, just a usual poop show around here at the Roberries. <laughs> Um, so we have, um, so this is the kindness warmer. You can see, um, this situation would be hard to kind of hide any cords if you didn't have the cord concealing base, um, simply because we're on the edge of my kitchen countertop here on this side. So, um, I love it. It just, it looks really nice and tidy again. I'm just going to kind of turn this around so you can see this side nice and tidy you don't have to deal with a mess of cords you just have to deal with barking dogs is all <laughs> i'm going to show you just a couple more so over here this is my little desk area situation um so this desk is built into this space um and most of the time when you have these kinds of um like built-in furniture area situations normally there is um there's usually like a hole <laughs> where you can actually like pull your cords through because underneath here there is an outlet, but there's no hole to feed any, <laughs> any cords or anything through there. So um, this is when the warmer stands totally come in handy. So see how nice and neat this looks. Um, I kind of wish I had like a stand situation for this guy, <laughs> but um when it comes to the warmer, I am totally set. So um, same type of situation here. So um, I just have it fed through the back here. If I can show you without spilling anything. In fact, here, let me go ahead and turn this off so I can show you how beautiful is this warmer, you guys. Ugh, I'm obsessed. So um, let me go ahead and pull this over here. So see how just nice and neat that looks. Um, so nice. So then all I have to do is just plug it in um, and then it's lit for the day, which is great. And I don't have a mess of cords, which is even better. So, and then you've got the mess of cords that's hidden by my stand here, which is perfect. So we have that and it looks nice and tidy. So then when I am ready to have my warmer on, plug it in, we are good to go. And it looks way, way better. Okay, and here we have blue twirl in my bedroom here. Again, this is on my dresser. So I have plenty of space behind my dresser to be able to hide the cord, but I still just like the space. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. So I love it and it's nice to have the option of the cord concealing base if I decide to move things around and use this base somewhere else where I will need the cord concealing feature of it. And last but not least in my bathroom. So I do have the ocean ombre 
warmer here in my bathroom. And again, I don't have a spot to like hide these cords. I could tuck them behind my Alexa over there, but um, Alexa, stop. <laughs> um, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't have to. So uh, because I have this fancy dancy cord concealing stand here to hide all my cord mess. Love it. Love it, love it. So if you have the cord issue, <laughs> these cord concealing stands are fantastic. And I love that birchwood. The birchwood is my favorite for sure. Super versatile, cute. I love it. And people wouldn't know that it's like specifically for the warmer. People could think it's just decorative, but it's functional too. Added bonus. See you guys, I told you, it really does make such a difference, right? I cannot tell you how many times I had, before before these were a thing, um, I would just like try to find just little areas like my cutting board <laughs> and things where I will just like tuck the cords, the mess of cords behind certain things just to hide them. So that way you don't have just this like mess of cords just sitting out on the countertop. So when Sensi came out with these, um, I really did think that these were a game changer and that thing clearly you can see, I believe in them because I do have several of these throughout my house. So they are great. It's a great, great solution to the roadmap to hell problem that can be your mess of cords from your warmers. So love these um again they are available for 15 dollars. or if you're just wanting the more simple stand these are 10 dollars. but i say if you're i would say, honestly even if you're not going to use the cord concealing um feature of this it's still just a nice hearty base which I love I absolutely love so absolutely fantastic I hope you found this video helpful I know it was kind of a simple video but it kind of got me thinking when I had a friend say hey what is that stand that your warmer sitting on and I'm like oh my gosh like I really don't talk about these stands enough for how much I actually love them so I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions definitely feel free to reach out to me absolutely anytime thank you so much for hanging out with me today be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content if you're new please subscribe if you're already subscribed be sure to hit the notification bell that way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. have an amazing day you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye